Yes, I see. But we don't want you to describe yourself as a recovering. <laughs> because it gave you a platform, it gave you a basis, it gave you a place to start, it gave you an opportunity, it gave you a good basis, you see. I see. And now you're expanding from it, and that is good, and that is what all religions at the heart were teaching. It's an interesting thing to watch this movement of religions because someone like Esther gets into a vibration where she can interpret from source and then others hear it and like the sound of it and begin to write it down and all of that is fine until they conclude that the religion can only go as far as those words were when the whole point of an experience like this and every one that was at the heart of every religion that you know of was interpreting in some way in the early days of Esther and Jerry doing this work they did a radio show in San Antonio that's when they learned the true meaning of the Bible Belt because the radio uh, interviewer was not really having anything about them how they ended up on the show is still a mystery to them and the guest that was supposed to come before and the guest that was supposed to come after didn't show up and so they had a very long dialogue <laughs> with this man who really wasn't having any of them and he had trained his audience for the most part to think like he did and so the people who were calling in were really not very enthusiastic about Esther professing to be receiving from broader perspective and so one woman was describing her uh, outrage at what she was hearing and when she stopped we said to her and what is it that you use as your source of guidance and she said I use the Bible and we said we have heard that it is a very good book which annoyed her <laughs> And then we said to her and how is it that that book has come to be and she said it came from God and we said and in what way was it translated or interpreted in other words how did it get from God to paper how did it get from God to words someone received it and interpreted it and do you know that woman had never thought about that <laughs> She had never thought about that. It had never occurred to her to think about that. All she knew for sure was that nobody ought to be now speaking from non-physical energy. Nobody ought to be professing that they speak from God because God stopped speaking the day that book was finished. <laughs> mm. So now it turns out everybody's got a damn book and they're all professing that it's the book and then they kill each other because you've got the wrong book 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 and we say bury those books let them be 